So, the verdict from our last week's challenge. We're back! Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you've been good and I'm so happy to be here once again. So, our verdict from last week's challenge before we dive into today's topic is did we succeed or not? We quarreled. <laughs> we quarreled. And that's just being honest. And it was about over something really silly, but we did quarrel. Very small, yeah. We did quarrel. And it was um, one of those things that, you know, we just have to come clean and come real. But so far, so good. This week, again, peaceful. Peaceful. <laughs> so we're hoping we will end the week. Um, on a better note but to be honest the fact that we had that mental challenge yeah. in our heads helped to curtail the quarrels to one you know, so that's a victory that's a victory, that's a victory. Mm. Mm. okay so now we're going to dive into today's topic and today's topic is not just going to shake tables break glasses volcanoes mm -hmm. and it's about social media good old social media or should we say facebook and instagram <laughs> so, um, we want to talk about the impact on social media. How does social media affect, affect your marriage? Your marriage mm -hmm. or affect your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So, you go first. Social media has what been... Do you mm, <laughs> social media, I think social media and mobile phones have become a very, very big obstacle in, in marriages. It's, it's a big, big problem. But um, I think we've, we've tried to find a way to make it work. But social media, it's, it's actually a challenge. It's a huge challenge. I think from the time that we met, we met 1999. 99? <laughs> 2009. Yeah, 2009. I think I was more on Facebook at that time. It was on Facebook. Yeah, a I was player, on Facebook. a player. <laughs> So I remember when we were apart, mm -hmm. um, I spent a great deal of time on Facebook. Looking for um, girls. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the funny thing about social media is that it gives you two lives. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's the real life and then there's the life online, which sometimes is difficult to yeah, differentiate. It's a bit like competition, yeah. to be mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's, it's hard to really come up and be in the reality that you should be in yeah so i mean basically um there's nothing wrong with social media i mean we were off um facebook for about eight years mm -hmm. we just um, made a decision that you know what well, we're not going to be on facebook for a couple of reasons which you know it, it would take the whole length of the video to go into it in a nutshell we just said you know what it's a bit too much and you know we're going through having our first time <laughs> So social media to me is not um, so bad. I just think it's can it's a vehicle that can be used for good or evil, so to speak. So I'm um, talking about how it affects um, relationships or marriages. I find that it's very convenient for you to put up a profile or um, a persona of who you really are not mm -hmm. in reality online and get away with it. I think they even created a program about, you know, creating an alter ego of yourself. Um, I think it's called Catfish. Yeah, Catfish. So basically, um, the fact that social media was created, obviously, to keep in touch, you know, I think that was the innocent explanation of mm -hmm. keeping in touch with your loved ones and your old classmates yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. But it's evolved into something else where it's like, you know, a breeding ground for all sorts of dating and, you know, relationships, which, again, is not too bad. But when you start, um, where the deception comes in, is where there is a problem and i think you know people have become so into their phones into their mobile, you know social media instagram mm -hmm. that they forget that sometimes you know you on you're, a dinner table yeah. you literally see everyone on your phone I yeah. mean, if you're gonna be on your phone on a dinner table mm -hmm. then just stay at home. ain't nobody got time yeah. for that it's rude, it's rude yeah. you know but talking about the effect it has mm -hmm. on relationships um a lot of people have used the platform of call it Facebook or Instagram yeah. to sort of cheat on their spouses. Yeah. I hope you are not one of them. I'm innocent. You know what well, I do with you. 
I think she said something earlier, you know, being on social media, you can create your own different persona. Honestly. You can I mean, create you can your be a fantasy. midget, yeah. you know, and just say, you know what, I'm six pack yeah. type. But you're a midget in yeah. real life and that's your reality. So basically, um, you can literally, and the fact that, you know, I mean, we watched a couple of that program. Obviously, Catfish is a program, not um, focused on social media, but most of the cases seem to have come from the online space where this person would create a profile of himself or herself on Facebook or Instagram and just sort of like lure their victims in, mm -hmm. you know, and when they do find, um, when they do meet later on, you'll find that that whole slick, fine boy or fine girl is like, you know, really different in real life, you know, sometimes it could be really pudgy and all of that, mm -hmm. you know, so, so, so the, the thing is, um, when it comes to the online space, we all have to be very careful. I mean, I'm mean, from talking about dating online, where people have literally lost their lives, you know, meeting up with their dates, yeah. to the fact that you have to, there has to be some sort of protection mechanism, especially for couples, you know, who are on social media. How do you protect yourself from not chasing that? fine girl mm. or that honky looking guy yeah. you know i mean that temptation seems to flitter across the screen so how i think the, the, the biggest thing is we all have had a history before we get married you know so i get long history <laughs> <laughs> she's had her own exes i've had my exes mm. so i think the biggest thing that social media has done is um it, it creates distrust you know uh, a lot of the time if you see a guy on my wife's profile you know i'm obviously going to ask questions that you know Ooh, there who's be. That? and it's the same thing i mean i've had many questions about who's that girl why did she send you that message um, I'm and, i got a crystal right here <laughs> and i think you know the way to protect yourself is it's hard to hear but i think just having access to each other's social media accounts yeah so um i wrote an article a while ago i mean if you check out my um website you full article there so when I was researching on the topic, I came across quite a few um, articles that were talking about how to um, create a trusting environment, even though both of you are on social media. Mm -hmm. And um, during my, the course of my research, I found out that, you know, as much as we might make light of the topic, it's caused a lot of um, damage to <laughs> relationships. <laughs> a few moments later. So during my research, I found out, my goodness, the statistics are staggering of a lot of marriages that have crashed from husband either cheating with someone else on Facebook or the wife cheating with someone on Instagram. Mm -hmm. The middle ground here well, is the cheating factor where people just sort of escape their reality and become someone else online and then, you know, one message, one text or whatever, you know, once they find someone else who sort of admires them or gives them some sort of attention outside of their spouse, you know, cheating has entered the place. Yeah, and I mean, they say that, you know, just by the mere subscription onto Facebook and Instagram that the divorce rates have increased it's by increased. about five or six percent or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not just divorcing. I think a lot of what happens on social media is people start creating expectations of their own marriage and their own relationships, which might not be real because what you see on Instagram or what you see on Facebook or what you see on any other social media is not necessarily real yeah, all the time. It's, it's not always real. And you know, with the filtering of pictures and people looking a certain way, enhancements and whatnot, you know, as a man, you start expecting women to look a certain way. And as a woman, Lip you talk. see all the fabulosity and, and the, the money balls. and the materialism <laughs> and you know people start believing that people are living it's a real. certain kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. so which brings us back to how to manage your social media accounts or how to manage being on social media reference to your relationship mm -hmm. so um, i stumbled on a couple of articles that said spouses should exchange their social media passwords <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, the 
day she told me about that, I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> he was sweating. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing is, would you exchange your password with your spouse? Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's not about shaking tables, this is about throwing tantrums and breaking glasses. Regardless of what you, whatever you decide to do, the reason behind the article saying, you know what, exchange um, passwords is not just about checking up on each other, but also to create a breeding ground of trust mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you know, we can't be um, double standard people yeah. Yeah. where you say marriage is two becomes one. Mm -hmm. So everything about those two, and I know this is like a very sensitive area because we could delve into not just social media, but also finances in the home mm. and, you know, roles and duties within the home. It's really a broad topic, but we're just keeping it simple on social media. On social media. So yeah. the reason behind the exchange of passwords is not just to check up on your spouse, but to create that um, a real um, fusion of trust between each other. Yeah, it's, an, it's an openness, you know, where, you know, and you know what I'm doing, she knows what I'm doing, and it becomes you know a little bit easier for somebody else not to have these um, guarded feelings about you know what could he be doing on social media if you don't want to give me your password, that kind of a thing. So this, I hope this will not break somebody's home <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have to if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's not for everyone, you know. The fact that we're all you know lip glosses mm -hmm. is good for women. Doesn't mean we all have to use lip glosses. Some of us will use lipsticks or matte lipsticks or just, you know, lip shimmer. So what we're saying, we're not saying that we did exchange passwords. We'll keep that for the next video. I just think, you know, outside of exchanging passwords, it's just good to be, um, keep social media to what it's supposed to be. Yeah. For keeping in touch with mm -hmm. your friends, your family, classmates and all that you know don't take it one step further especially if you are in a monogamous relationship where you're not trying to chase girls mm -hmm. you know you're not trying to chase guys mm -hmm. or you know just trying to start some an extra relationship on the side I, I think that's for personally I think that's that's not right yeah social media should be social you know get to keep in touch with not people. relationship media yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's just a good way to keep in touch with family and friends. Or chasing media. Mm, but don't get depressed. Some people have yeah. become depressed because of what they see on social mm -hmm. media. But, you know, overall, I think build your trust with your partner. Mm -hmm. Open up when it comes to passwords and share yeah. what you're doing on social mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. It's It's got its good factors and it's and bad it's factors. factors. So, yeah. I mean, I would rather go for the Some good people would the never bad. exchange passwords. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they have locks on their phone. Mm -hmm. But you've got my password. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, that's mm. it in a nutshell. <laughs> it's unfortunate the chaos or the instability that Facebook, Instagram and all of these social media networking sites have posed or become in people's homes. Mm. So in a nutshell, I think it really is what it is, a website. We shouldn't mm. use it as a as an SPV to a you replacement know, for life, a replacement yeah. for life, mm -hmm. or to start, you know, using it as an avenue or a ground to cheat or to be deceptive. You know, it's just best to keep it simple yeah. and just, you know, if you do have any problems in your relationship, just try to work it out within the realness and the physical nature of your relationship. Don't start looking for ways or seeking solace outside to some you know some mm. other person online i yeah. don't think it's it's yeah. right so yeah social media is is good and it's bad so yeah. you know depending on who you are exactly it's you like decide. alcohol you know yeah. mm. alcohol on its own is not bad but if you drink too much of it yeah. you become a you know a flaming drunk That's so it. yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and if you do have any comments or if you do have any anything to say about this topic you know are you going to share your passwords are you going to share <laughs> the password that's the that you know we don't want this to cause any problems in your home or you know don't start fighting your husband or fighting your man that if you give you please i didn't tell you to do that you know but you guys you know just i don't know
Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. Keep it real. Keep it real. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope um, it's been insightful. Anyway, we'll let you know next week when we come again because I like coming here with Will if we actually um, exchange passwords. That's correct. I'm in trouble. Yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Good. And so it's a goodbye from us. Bye. Bye.